Good morning, Johnny. Isn't Johnny Good Lawrence morning. Cobra Kai? How are you? Oh, it's always an exciting day when I wear my Cobra Kai shirt. You know that I'm excited about what's to come. Do you know any? You don't know any karate or kung fu or jujitsu? No, or... not like you apparently know. That yeah. was pretty. Did you see that? I'm actually slowing I, the video. I almost didn't. It was so quick. <laughs> so you can see my hands. My name is Richard. Welcome to the channel. We are not going to learn karate here, but we will be listening to a, how do I phrase this? A kung fu vocal by Tatiana from Ginger. This is a one take <laughs> vocal performance. The song is called a Kung Judgment. Fu Vocal. <laughs> I'm, I'm desperately trying to transition away from Cobra Kai, <laughs> even though I'm the one that started the conversation. <laughs> Judgment Continue. and Punishment is the name of the song. I'm assuming this is an original. <clears throat> um, I've never attempted her last name before. I'm going to give you a shot at this. How would you say your last name? Uh, Shm uh, Shmiluk. Shmiluk, maybe? We have heard her in a couple songs now. She's monster vocalist there's so much dynamics and grit and coolness just oozing from her larynx that Look was a that weird tattoo, description too. before we begin though <laughs> yes please hit like and subscribe and ring that bell so you can follow us for some reason <laughs> also please because be sure. listen because we know what we're talking about we do know music clearly once the music starts this whole show becomes a little more coherent also, yeah. be sure to click. At, ah, it's the wrong button. No, wait. <laughs> oh <my> God, this... <laughs> be sure to click on the description below where you God. can buy us a coffee and help this disaster of a channel um, support us with a silver, gold, or diamond throne membership so we can continue to grow and check out awesome music. Also, be sure to check out throwgood.com where you can learn more about your voice in the seven dimensions of singing with our online courses. It's Sh Monday. Shall we Give begin? us a break. We're yes. recording this on Please. a Monday, yes. Okay, here we go. That's lower than E. That is a D tune guitar riff, is it not? I mean, I don't even know what key that is. Down. E? Down the whole step? So it's a low, low D, yes. Oh, I love it. Get it. Get it. so much joy um, <laughs> yeah that wakes me up <laughs> wake you up when she adds the grit we've talked about this before I, I went into a little detail in a previous reaction in terms of how she's creating it but what i want to point out here is that when she goes full on in the chorus it's just the layers of distortion it's just it almost sounds like it's doubled or tripled it just it's just a wall of sound, mm -hmm. of in of intentional imbalances. And then you get to this verse and she's able to just like give a drop of the distortion. Listen to this line right here. I think I backed it up enough. 
Like just yeah. even that was too much. It's almost like delicate and she can just like tap it on. It's like a distortion pedal in her brain, like and just bring that much gain in. Let's use that distortion pedal here. The connection, her the wiring connection in her musical intent with the way the muscles respond in her larynx is truly next level. I mean, there's so much delicate balances taking place. Cause if you just go full out all the time, you're not going to get through the song. And I don't mean she can't sing distortion the whole song. She can do, you know, a two hour gig. That's my point is you can't survive even the song, let alone a whole show. If you're just pressing the pedal to the metal the yeah. entire time, or you're not going to have a career. There's so many right. delicate balances taking place. I just, I just can't get over her, uh, skill set for this. And I think it's grossly underappreciated in other styles of music. Like a lot of people see this and you're like, Oh, they're like, they're turned off by it. It's designed to reject half the world anyway. You know, most metal. Right. Lives, exactly. Right? So exactly. it does its job, but I don't know how you cannot appreciate anyone who could do this for a living, not just once and bleed from the throat, but actually depend on this sound is just amazing. Yeah, if you do this the wrong way, you're lucky if you get through a full song if or two songs, maybe at the most, you yes. know, without losing it. So it's yeah. it's an it's definitely an art form for sure. And also it's an art form to combine reggae and scream metal <laughs> seamlessly into one Wouldn't seamlessly be my into choice. one song. Not not a fan of, of the reggae vibe, but if you're gonna do it, do it with style. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she is. Oh, do it with a cat. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm sorry for disrupting again. <clears throat> I, I'm paying attention to the position of her larynx on this too, because she's creating more in order to get that low tone. Cause it's not just da, 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 which is like a, like a tight squeeze yell. The larynx is actually sinking down. So the having a profile view of her singing is actually really cool. So you can see like, if I were to just like, take a note, ee, I can intentionally bring the larynx down that elongates the resonant space creates lower overtones and that's typically what you can hear in like cartoon characters it's usually the dumb one talks like this and then <laughs> the really smart one the nerdy one has the larynx goes up right so it changes uh, the, the 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 contrast is what gives it like that relationship when she does the uh, the that false fold vibration she's also lowering the larynx that just gives it like this extra depth not all the way down into a yawn but just tips down a little bit it's Oh, mm. so God, well I feel like they should make another Exorcist movie with you starring in it and as you're getting <laughs> as the demon is is uh, Emerging. infiltrating your soul you'll just be like this is, this is great <laughs> this is so fun <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> like, you're so giddy listening to this <laughs> I'm like partially scared but partially excited <laughs> Band. Oh my god. So if you were here, to bring me on myself here, to the power of stage, yes, I don't know why, why should I spell Dirty mouth. 
Banshee's just got a great rock clean tone too. I mean, that tone is is just identifiably her. It's well yeah. balanced, well intended. If you noticed earlier in, in that scream when she went higher in pitch, it's like it's not really defined fundamental like because the true folds aren't even vibrating there. I mean, they're just taking a, a little bit of a beating there. But the lower larynx, uh, like as the larynx lifts, it gets like a higher quality to it. So that's how she's mm -hmm. able to manipulate the feeling of the pitch going up. But it's really just the resonant space changing. Uh, uh, real quick, I want to discuss. Um, so we've talked about this before in terms of how your personality, how that interacts with your performance and how they're connected, you know, as far as, right. you know, like the more fearless you are, it's usually better for your voice because you're not, you know, there's not that like protective thing, which can be counter yes. active to, you know, you think you're protecting yourself, but you're actually doing more harm as somebody that's just, you know, maybe more of an extroverted personality. that's just out there and just lets right. it out. So what I, so with her, usually somebody that has a neck tattoo, I would, per, I would describe as pretty fearless. And I feel like that is serving her well in this type of singing because it's just, it's just innate in her personality to be a badass. And I, you know, I'm kind of Absolutely. joking, but I'm also serious. It's like, you know, to, to be able to, to do that. I mean, it's, that it's type like, of personality is perfect for this. Absolutely. The, your mental state reflects the muscles. I mean, we forget that our body is connected to the musician, the brain. It's not like the guitar or the piano in front of you. It's like, I can be really mad, but this is still a sweet C chord. <laughs> like it doesn't yeah. care how happy I am. Obviously the attack will be different if I played it light, but it's yes. just, just so much emotional wiring, unconscious wiring into the body that absolutely influences the tone and delivery. Mm -hmm. I'm back uh, yeah, to like, uh, like I think for for at least short term, it's almost better if you're the type of personality that's just like doing shots before the show and smoking cigarettes, just like that non-caring attitude than somebody that's overly cautious. Yes. You know, at least at first. I think it's going to bite you in the butt later. Not but. condoning cigarettes and alcohol is preparation before you sing, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what we're doing on this channel. It's just family friendly. <laughs> But not just family friendly, but also as a vocalist, taking care of your instrument is important. But the mental relationship to just being that relaxed and that casual is 100% necessary yeah. to sing this well. Again, not really my thing, but it's so cool. My, I listen to 90s metal, right? So it's a, the Metallica, yeah. the Megadeth, the Pantera, you know, that, that kind of uh, era in many ways. So I don't listen to a lot of this stuff, but I just have an absolute sheer appreciation and wonderment with it. It's just it's just a shiny toy that I'm just in awe of. It's just so I know, cool. it's so impressive. And I think oh. deep down, a, a lot of us have that really, you know that desire to want to just 
go against the the norm and just and rebel and express yourself even if it's like Freely. that much it's like yeah yeah that that freedom to just be like i'm just gonna screw the man damn the man <laughs> well, now you watch your language on this channel we just got <laughs> this now now you're swearing promoting smoking and alcohol shame on you <laughs> it's her fault she's a bad influence uh and and just a quick comment to on the band they are fantastic i mean there's I'm pretty sure they were changing time signatures in this one. I, I wasn't paying attention to it too much, but yeah, I, I mean, just the way the, the drummer, the, the guitar, the riffs, the, the bass player, the, the band, <laughs> I mean, yeah. just, they're so tight and just that progressive element mixed in and having a just a pretty clear melody. I don't mean tonally, but just like a defined melody to sing on top of so much movement underneath is is a feat in and of itself musically to have that just mm -hmm. flow and work in that way. Yeah. They're, they're sure. always doing really intricate polyrhythms and, yeah. and different chord progressions. They're really cool. Awesome. Well, thank you guys once again for your recommendation. She's fantastic. Mm -hmm. The band is fantastic. Yeah, she's so good. Yeah. We hope you have an amazing day. Thank you for joining us until next time. Bye. Later. <laughs>